water to voice from mouth Sorry. Okay, before the responders arrive, please have someone sight down a paramedic if possible. If it gets worse in any way, call us back immediately for further instructions. <laughs> Had some smudges on the lens, but all right. So I'm meeting up with Ryan Iscardo today. We've been talking about doing this video for a while now. We were in the Keys a few weeks ago and we were chasing tarpon, but we didn't catch any that day. So I kept telling him, yo, you want to catch tarpon? You got to come to Miami. They ain't going to be as big as the Keys. We're matching the tackle to the size of the fish. So we're going to be using five weights and uh, ultra light tackle spin gear. But Ryan told me he hasn't caught a tarpon on fly yet. So that's the goal for today. So after we do that, then, uh, I'll break out the rod and start fishing myself. So we are here in an undisclosed location. Got Ryan with me. What up, baby? What up, baby? We're gonna go try to get some tarpon on a croqueta. Croquetas. You're gonna actually see that on his channel. However, we're gonna go bouncing around. You haven't caught a tarpon on fly yet. I've not caught a tarpon on fly. So we're gonna try to get him a tarpon on fly. We have the rain to do it. Let's see if we can make it happen. Yes, sir. We fished a little bit earlier today. Jumped one, caught some exotics and Eric's gonna show me around town, man. He's gonna show me some super exotic urban locations. Drag we're actually down. gonna go first to the spot everybody's seen, and then we're gonna go to the, really? the secret tarpon spot. Let's do it, bro. Let's catch them. All right, guys, so we're here at the fishing spot, and we got our chum right here. Believe it or not, it's a snack that smiles back. This is what we're gonna throw <laughs> in the water, get them fired up. We have our hand croquetas. I thought you were gonna try to catch them from down there. I was gonna tell you that's gonna handicap you. I was gonna tell you I was gonna handicap you. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Should we uh, chum them up first chum or just up. try to get there? Chum up. So guys, we got a bunch ready. Here they go. Oh, he's eating them. Well, yeah. check it out. Oh, oh popped off immediately. Off. Immediately. Off. Let's go uh, grab the other rod. Ray broke just like that. You get a chest like that, that was too aggressive of a hook set. So, I'm gonna take a break right quick in the video to tell y'all to make sure you uh, check out Ryan's channel. The link is in the description below. He's got some pretty cool stuff. He's got a lot of new videos coming out every other day, it seems like. I put David Fish Vision's link in the description as well. Let's keep this thing going. Oh, a little one, but hey. That's a fly. Here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo. Dude, and that is legit. That's not tipping your fly. No, that, that, not very uh, acrobatic this one, but hey, created. That's an actual really good tarpon fly, by the way. There we go, boys. First poon on fly. He actually came up and he smoked it. That's a nice. And ate a fly legitimately too. Yeah, that's like a four pounder, five pounder. Beautiful fish right there. Brian actually got his first tarpon on fly, legitimately on fly. No chum, no uh, no bait on there. I actually, the same cockroach fly from my last video, he actually just made it happen. There she goes, baby. Let's go. Wow. Nice, baby. Another little snug. This is, uh, if you ask me the craziest spot I've ever caught a snug, I would say this is it. <laughs> A little sewer that runs across the street, which we'll show you in a minute. What's that? Right there. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh my gosh. Right Alright, watch this. He's eating the. Oh. I got all that. Yeah. Here comes a bigger one. Look at this bigger one right here. Oh my god, there's a giant right here, dude. <laughs> Look at this. Good job, baby. Nice fish. <laughs> Goldfish crackers. This is epic. Oh, there she goes. She just spit it right there, dude. 
I think it might be bigger. Guys, Eric is a, a gangster on the fly rod. I, on the other hand. Left. Hold left. Oh my. Welcome to Miami. Welcome to Ghetto Robbie's. <laughs> left, 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 left. Go for the face grab. Want to get on the rod real quick? <laughs> 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 oh my god! What is he using a lure? It's a fly, so it's just like feathers tied to a hook. Go for the mouth. <laughs> There we go, baby. Beautiful carp. Look at these gold scales on her. She's got one, two, three, four, five, six gold scales. Baby on the freaking five weight. Guys, look. Look at this fish. Yo, my open little fish. Oh, yeah. Guys, beautiful fish. Throw that fly rod in here real quick, bro. And stand behind me. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and release this fish in the water. Let's go put her back. Put her side to side just like this. <laughs> and there she went. Oh my gosh. All right. We're going to get on out of here. On to the next spot. Maybe we'll stick one on the way out. But that was crazy. We hooked one. He threw it. In less than three seconds, he hooked another one. Get old Robbie's people. Craziness. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Well, how'd y'all find my secret spot? He just said. He said that the kid? The kid, yeah. No! How'd y'all find, yeah. He said, how'd y'all find my secret spot? There ain't no secrets <laughs> anymore nowadays, buddy. And that's when things started to get weird. Fishing with Ryan all morning, and I don't know where he told me to pull over. That he had to uh, vomit. Next thing I know, he walks into Walgreens. A few minutes go by, he busts the front door of the Walgreens open, and not, you know, it's a sliding door, but he actually busted the door outward, stumbles out, collapses on the floor, and he's there like throwing up on the floor and I'm like I don't know what's going on I don't know where rescue shows up apparently somebody inside of Walgreens saw Ryan not looking too good and called 911 and rescue came out they asked him a few questions said he was all right said he didn't need them so they left and a few minutes later we're getting ready to leave and he starts throwing up again So Ryan's there throwing up, throwing up. I decide to call 911 again. No. No. 
Not that I know of, and I definitely hope not. And then rescue came and actually took him. So I hope everything's good. I hope he's all right. I'm gonna continue to fish because I haven't even got to fish yet today. So here we are. I'm actually gonna try a new spot. I've never tried this spot before. I drive past it every day. I've never tried it because one of my buddies told me that he fished here once and it was nothing but largemouth bass. However, it looks, it looks like it screams tarpon to me. I've never actually looked and I've never stopped to check it out. I just drive past it every day and it looks very tarpon-like. I see a lot of what I look for in tarpon spots. And so I'm gonna give it a shot and see if there's any, any fish. And try to finish up this video with me actually doing some fishing myself. I had a bunch of tiny little tarpon, like eight inch, 10 inch tarpon hit the fly at one of the spots, but they were so small that the hook wouldn't catch. I have some pretty big hooks on here for tarpon, for big tarpon, so. Yep, I'm in. Let me see if I could catch anything. I had a cop drive right past me. This is no trespassing all over it. But a cop did drive by me, didn't say anything. I mean, he saw me pull off the side of the road and grab my fly rod. So he must know what I'm about to do. Holy crap, it's a lot of iguanas. Big bass, huge large mouth. Just came chasing my fly, trying to eat it. Oh, got one. Oh, I got a little one, but there's a school of big bass down there. Let's see. Little guy, but there's some big ones mixed in for sure. Come on. So he's got the hook in a perfect spot that makes it difficult to lip him. See this little guy? There's some big ones down there with him. Let's see if I can get one of those bigger ones. I can still see them. Got one. Uh, a little bit better one. So maybe my buddy was right. Oh, he came off. He made it back in the lake. That was a much bigger one. I mean, it was still wasn't huge. It was still like a pound and a half, two pounds. But I mean, it seems like it could be a good largemouth spot, which are always fun. But I might want to come out with my bass rod and some like Senkos or something if I really want to try to catch one of these toads. What do y'all think? If you wanna, do y'all wanna see me come out here with a spin rod and some traditional bass fishing gear and try to see how big of a bass I could get here? Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll come with the John boat. Got one. Oh, dude, this seems like it could be an epic largemouth bass spot. I might have to climb down for this one. Looks like a pretty good fish. You know, bass are always fun, but I'd really like me a snook or a tarpon out of here. That's like what, bass number three out of 10 minutes I've been here. All right, y'all, so I finally see a pipe. I don't quite know exactly if that's a culvert that actually leads to another body of water, or if it's just a rain ditch, a rain drain that just uh, sends rain from up the road down into the lake or the pond, whatever you want to call it. There's a tarpon sitting right there. The problem is he's got his nose inside the pipe. Oh. Oh, here comes one. Here comes another one. Let's see if he eats it. 
Got him. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he's still on. He's still on, but he's got me wrapped around the trees. Oh, I'm gonna lose my fly line. I don't know, my GoPro was pointing straight down. Come on. And they're back. And they are back, but I don't have a fly or a leader on. Oh, he's on it. Oh, he knows what's up. He just took off, but there's still a few more. Oh, here comes another one that broke off. Ah, uh, they took off because they know what's up. Oh, he kind of turned for it though at the end. So there's a, there's a fish coming. He's looking straight at the fly. Got him. Oh, I missed him. I missed them. We didn't even get a chance to hit up half the spots I had in mind for today. So I'm sure we're gonna get back after them. The plan was to put David on his first peacock. That didn't happen because the day was cut so short. Stay tuned, I'm sure we'll do it again. I'll see if we get a chance to get him out there before David heads back home to uh, California. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned for more.